The first half of the 2022 Grand National Cross Country Championship Series has been dominated by Ben Kelly, but an off-week crash means he is absent from the startup today, and we will see a new face in the center of the box. The question is, who will it be? Stick around to find out. The Wise Coat John Penton GNCC is next on MAV-TV. Are you ready to go GNCC Racing? everyone and welcome to America's premier off-road racing championship the 2022 Grand National Cross Country Championship Series presented by Specialized and AMA National Championship. I'm Rodney Tomlin and today we come to you from Millfield, Ohio at Sunday Creek Raceway for the Weisco John Penton GNCC and just two weeks ago we were at Crawfordsville, Indiana at the Ironman Raceway for the Hoosier GNCC, the first of two stops there at that race facility as it is here in Ohio today. And of course, Ben Kelly was continuing his domination starting off early as we saw him grab not only the whole shot, but the early lead. And of course, stretched it out to nearly 10 seconds early on over his teammate, the 206 of Josh Toth and the 523 and national sprint enduro champion of Lane Michael on the Ampro Yamaha. The question was at this particular point, will the Ampro Yamaha's Michael be able to last the entire three hours? And of course, as the race wore on, that question many more got answered. Near perfect conditions on this day in Indiana as just a few short months ago at the season ending in 2021, it was a mud fest for these riders and they really enjoyed the conditions that the trails had to offer on this day. Josh Toth had a great ride going and of course, as the day wore on, 739 of Trevor Bollinger burst onto the scene and became a major force in what was going to be deciding the final two spots on the podium for the day. In the end, it was all Ben Kelly up front and the 739 of Trevor Bollinger was having the ride of a lifetime. It wasn't a win, but the way it felt to get that second place position after nearly a career ending injury a year and a half prior to that lands him on the box in second behind this guy right here. A perfect season for Ben Kelly, who looked like it could be 13 in a row. Man, a solid race. Had a good start, like third, and got by Ricky there going into the woods and followed Josh for about half a lap. And man, track was tricky. Like, it was nice having him ahead of me, but I think he was thinking the same thing. So he took an outside line, let me by, and so I led from there. and. Yeah, the, the guys were on me for a while, but uh, I pulled a little bit of a gap so they couldn't see me. And yeah, I stayed relatively close the first half, but I just kept doing what I was doing and, and having fun. And man, track was gnarly. I'm beat. I need some water, but it was fun. And uh, yeah, it was fun to go fast out there. Well, Ben Kelly took the win. Trevor Bollinger, as we said, took second on that Rockstar Energy Husqvarna. Josh Toth taking third. Jordan Ashburn holding on for a top five and fourth. And Craig DeLong in the fifth place position. As we head back to Ohio, once again, minus one, Ben Kelly. A possible season-ending injury that he suffered just one week leading into the Wiseco John Penton GNCC. So we're going to see a new face in the center of the box today. The big question is, who will it be as the green flag waves on this one? And look at this, the old workhorse himself, Josh Strang, on board that Babbitt's Online Monster Energy Team Green Kawasaki grabbing the whole shot in the early lead in this one. This is one of these uh, tracks that lend favor to Josh Strang and his riding styles and abilities, of course, as kind of got a little slower pace off the start of this one today. You can see the clay in Ohio as tacky as it can be. It can also be slick, and this area looks like it could be a little bit of both, so they're kind of tiptoeing their way through a little water through there so you know it's slick in Ohio as the green flag waves on road to the XC2 250 Pro Class. Still a little bit of moisture out there as some riders going down. Don't think anyone is going to get too discouraged from that one, but Evan Smith on a beta grabbing the early lead in this one, gripping and ripping, if you will. 
See if he could hang on to it. Got the whole shot and also the early lead as we check in at our first uh, checkpoint here coming through the woods just, just outside the start. So we're getting things kind of sorted out there right now in this 250 Pro class. See a lot of the names that we're used to seeing up front about mid-pack right now. 178 machine back there, of course, as Lennon Snodgrass is a formidable opponent here in 2022. Mike Witkowski we saw back there, Jonathan Johnson, Liam Draper, Ryder Lafferty, Cody Barnes all in that mix as well as we go down to the XC3 FMF 125 Pro-Am class. Early lead by Zachary Garius out of Mars PA, best finish so far this season in eighth place, but a good start and a good jump here today. Could put himself in a pretty good position. He's got a hype of bumblebees behind him, though, in those 125 two-strokes. Josh Strang still out front in this one, and as we check back to second, that is Josh Toth on the 206 machine. Behind him is Trevor Bollinger in third, and fourth is Ricky Russell. Wow, a little miscue there by the number three of Jordan Ashburn. You don't see that too often, but... Coming up out there a little bit. Squirrely gets uh, reconfirmed there and back in the hunt and chase. There is Craig DeLong coming through that pack of riders in about that 7th, 8th place position. So kick things off a little further down the trail. These guys are a little tighter than what we're used to seeing. Ben Kelly been kind of set a faster pace in the early part of the race, but now that Ben's not here, these guys can ride a little different pace. Plus, these conditions today are a little slicker, so they're kind of feeling their way around here on this first lap. A little longer course as well here in Ohio as they like to have some of that single track. Wiseco, John Penton, GNCC stuff. As we see some rain showers falling down, and it's kind of intermittent, on again, off again, and it seems like about every time the track starts to shape up, we see these showers all day long here today and doing it again here this afternoon. And these riders are kind of tiptoeing their way around, rightfully so. If you've never been in Ohio clay, you don't understand or recognize just exactly how slick something can be. And you might think you can, but until you experience it for yourself, you'll never know. New face in the center of the box today. Will it be Josh Strang? Stick around to find out. Coverage of the Grand National Cross Country Championship on MAV TV is brought to you in part by Specialized E Turbo Bikes. It's you only faster. And by Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com. Get ready. Welcome back to GNCC on MAV TV. I'm Rodney Tomlin. We are at the Wines Coach John Pitton GNCC. It is round seven, the midway point, and there is Josh Strang leading Josh Toth. And of course, not a lot of stretch out between these riders. Looks like third place there is going to be Jordan Ashburn. Fourth place, Ricky Russell. Got some changes going on. Uh, Trevor Bollinger appears to have dropped back to about likely a fifth place position now. So things are really starting to get a little heated back there as they try to sort those final spots out. Grant Baylor, Trevor Bollinger, Craig DeLong, Lane Michael all back there. And there is the 114 of Josh Strang. Now, as this race wears on, we're getting some of these open field sections. Looks like he's starting to try to distance himself from the rest of the field and doing a pretty good job of it. His second, third, fourth, and fifth place positions are all kind of tight right now. Talking Ricky Russell. Jordan Ashburn, Trevor Bollinger up there in that mix here as well. There is uh, Craig DeLong. DeLong is finding himself uh, in the heat of the, the battle right now. As a lot of these riders are still close enough. We're seeing a lot of position changing between them. So around one corner to the next, it could be a different look at this battle. And this is the way I kind of like the pace of the races. And I don't know if it's because the absence of Ben Kelly today and that heated pace that he usually puts forth, or if it's the conditions that are kind of warranting this with the slicker conditions here in Ohio mud. And, you know, just when you think it's going to straighten up, it starts to rain again out there. So these, these riders have really been fighting a lot of issues as far as the course is concerned in its slickness. But all in all, the track is holding up very nicely as Craig DeLong is keeping up with the pace of the front pack right now. But... He can't afford to stay back there where he's at right now if he wants to turn in some top results. And now it's about time to 
see things wick up. We'll see that happen, I'm sure, once these riders check in for a pit stop coming up here in just a few moments. Josh Strain continuing to lead this one. It looks like unless something happens, Will, for the bigger part of the day, there's that gap starting to tighten back up out in that open field section. Remember, he'd opened it up a little bit over Toth and the boys, and now that we're back at some of these field sections, they are still in fourth place, the 739 of Trevor Bollinger. Back out in these open field sections, and Josh Strain finds a little more throttle to grip it and rip it with and is opening it back up just a little bit over second place position. It's like a goggle change might be imminent for him as well. Ricky Russell not far off the pace as he's shaking that third place position. Now third place spot rounding the corners. That appears to be Trevor Bollinger on the 739 Rockstar Energy Husk Varna. Another solid podium position possibility here today after second place just a couple of weeks ago in Indiana. That'd be a great way to back these rides up here today, no doubt about that. Grant Baylor in the number four position, and looks like we've got ourselves a new leader a little further down the trail as Ricky Russell checks in in the number one spot. That drops the 114 now of Josh Strang into second. So the face of this race has now changed here today, and... Now, if you had your bets on string, you might be changing them over to the 212 of Ricky Russell. But I'm telling you, folks, this race is not over yet. That's the top five, six, seven riders going through, and there's still plenty of room for changes to take place, not only on the podium, but even in the center of the box right now as Russell continues to lead this one. Ricky Russell on a Duval, Washington on a coastal gas gas machine. Josh Strang finding a little bit of that slickness we saw Jordan Ashburn having problems there a lap or so ago. Trevor Bollinger still back in the number three spot. Back in the number four position, still Grant Baylor. But here comes a hard charging Jordan Ashburn having problems here once again. And at risk of losing the position, but will not. Ashburn got lucky on that one, but he's losing a lot of time right now. What a heartbreaker there for that rider. Lapped riders having issues getting around that pro rider. I believe that is Josh Toth that may be having the problems. And now here comes the 342 of Craig DeLong as he takes a stab at it. Can't quite make this little climb either. Risk versus reward. And the reward would have been great there had he been able to make it happen. But several riders again choosing and having to opt for that longer line which is going to pay them huge dividends as they're chaining now the human chain if you will mud fleas on the side of the hill up here getting craig along up this embankment and yes folks that is a legal move there and here comes your leaders of the xc2250 pro class now as they are well within now xc1 pro class and your leader of cody barnes and the 178 of Lyndon snodgrass running one and two right now in the battle for the lead of the xc2250 pro class and there's your leader in the xc1 class it's still the 212 of ricky russell josh strang still in second we'll see what that gap back to third is looking like i don't know if that was josh strang whooping through the woods or whether that was some brakes we heard squealing there but whatever the case may be it's race day here in southeastern Ohio, and there's your third place ride. That is a 739 of Trevor Bollinger. Bollinger on another great ride here today, looking for another podium position finish. Grant Baylor checking in in the number four position, and a great place for him to maybe get another win here in Ohio. This is where the, his first one came. It was kind of a technicality in the end. Jordan Ashman rounding out the top five, and Saturday nights are special in GNCC racing. Why? Because of specialized EMTB GNCC racing. And, of course, we've got uh, classes for nearly everyone out there, and as well, the XC1 Pro class in EMTB. Charlie Mullins has been the dominant factor as far as championships have been concerned leading up to the last season or so, but he's had lots of company. Nick Mackey, Florida State champion, and of course, Cypress Gorey out of North Carolina have been formidable opponents, but on this day in Ohio, Charlie Mullins took home the win at the Wise Coach John Penton.
Coverage of the Grand National Cross Country Championship on NAV TV is brought to you in part by Specialized E Turbo Bikes. It's you only faster. And by Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com. Get ready. Welcome back to the Wiseco John Pinton GNCC, where we are celebrating KTM Youth Day this weekend. And as always, Saturday nights after all the serious racing is done, the real serious racing gets underway. It is EPW Racing, brought to you by Stay Six Stability Cycles and our friends at KTM. And this weekend, very special because it is the Wiseco John Pinton GNCC, the founder of the KTM Motorcycles. And I'll tell you, to win this one, got a lot of eyes out there all the ktm boys are out the, all the pros out watching this one as well we got strider bikes we got the electric powered bikes with the stay six stability cycles kids ranging from the age of about one and a half to about six years old going at it out there and everyone walks away a winner at the end of this night but we all know somebody has to cross the finish line first and that usually happens and they know who they are when that happens but everybody, like we said, is a winner in e Wee Racing and GNCC as they all get medals. And this special KTM weekend, they all got KTM Youth Day souvenir shirts to take home and remember the day from, of course, and memories that will last a lifetime. And Josh Trang, hoping these memories will last a lifetime as he has regained the lead away from Ricky Russell. Now, Russell was leading this one, but on paper, so far, that has not been the case. Only what we've seen visually on the track because every lap so far, Josh Strang has checked in through the first five, or excuse me, I'm sorry, the first four laps of racing. We've got a total of five laps to go. One more, and uh, Josh Strang can claim his first win of 2022, and we will see our first rider other than Ben Kelly in the center of that box. Now, a lot of questions are, will Ben be able to be back uh, and a lot of reports are saying that he won't be back until maybe snowshoe. Some reports are saying after snowshoe and after the summer break. And then many have even said there's a possibility, maybe not even the rest of the season. So we've got the possibility of another person positioning themselves for a championship. And there's a couple of riders that are in good position. And for that, the best in position for that right now, though, is Jordan Ashburn on that Magna One Motorsports Husqvarna. He's going to be one to keep an eye on as far as this 2022 season is concerned, especially concerning what is going on with Ben Kelly right now. If he stays out long enough, can get some wins under his belt this season. That could chip away at a big points lead that uh, Ben Kelly has right now. And at the end of the season, we could see a real dogfight right down to the wire, just like what we saw in 2021. Sorting this one out today in Ohio at the midway point, and Ricky Russell still in that number two spot. We saw him up front for a while, but none of that translated on paper. This rider right here is shown to be the dominant rider through the first four laps of racing leading this one. Back in the number two spot, still the 212 of Ricky Russell. We've seen that gap open up to some... 15 seconds or so, 20 seconds, but it's not really gotten anything unmanageable. Out of sight, but things are tight enough and slick enough here today that a lot of mistakes these riders are making are tightening them back up, and lapped riders are certainly helping that factor quite a bit. But as we head toward the and get closer to the finish line, it looks like Ricky Russell is starting to maybe back down just a little bit and settle for this number two spot behind the 114 of Josh Strang as he makes his way out of the woods one final time here in Ohio. Goggles are off and around that final turn as he looks back one final time and Josh Strang takes the win at the Weiss Code John Pitt and GNCC. 212 of Ricky Russell will finish up in the number two spot as you see him give a high five to one of the young fans standing by there. Third place on the day today. Looks like that one's going to go to Jordan Ashburn as he has battled his way tooth and nail all day long today. But what a climb to the top for Josh Strang. Some injuries that he's been battling on and off over the last couple of years. We've seen glimpses of greatness out of him, but we saw pure domination here in Ohio. Some glimpses of a rider that we haven't seen in quite some time, and this could be maybe... The ringing in of a new championship contender 
depending on what is going on with Ben Kelly here the rest of the 2022 season. Let's check in with our top three overall here at the Wiseco John Penton GNCC. But I felt good, man. The track here was, there were some parts of the track that were so grippy and then other parts that were just, I, I don't even know, so uh, just so slippery. And then the last little hill climb here coming out of the creek, I was, I think I had a big enough gap where I was fine, but I took a new line in the last lap and it was sketchy. So I uh, just happy to get through with it and uh, stoked to get another win, man. It's uh, they sometimes they're few and far between, but hey, there's not many other people winning, so I'll take it. Kind of an emotional day there by Josh Strang, a former champion of this GNCC series, and to be back on top like that feels real good. Like you said, we'll take it, and I know another rider will take this second place position as he's hoping to start ringing off some wins pretty soon. Ricky Russell had a great run in Ohio today. Two to go, Josh really laid the hammer down and got away from me and I tried to pin it last lap as hard as I could and hit my lines and felt like I had a good last lap, but he was about 10, 15 ahead of me at the finish. So unfortunately, didn't get the win, but this is huge building steps for me. Could be on the podium again, because it's been a while. It's been a while since a lot of riders have been on the podium and many are looking to make that happen in the second half of the season. Jordan Ashburn, though, has been very consistent so far this season and a third on the day. Yeah, you know, I was, I was uh, didn't get a very good start, and I was pretty frustrated because I just couldn't ride to my potential. I couldn't get around anybody, and uh, passing was really difficult on this track. So, uh, man, I, I did the best I could, and uh, mid-race I kind of got it by myself a little bit and was able to get my breath and start pushing hard. And, uh, yeah, I kind of just reeled in towards the end and snagged third. And, uh, man, just another lap. Maybe we could have kept on going, but... No, I felt good at the end of the race, and that's what we've been working on this year. So, uh, yeah, we'll keep on it. Well, the GNCC's longest standing on the circuit did not disappoint once again here today as we started out with somewhat slick conditions. And as the day wore on, it got slicker and slicker. Some rain showers falling on and off, somewhat tacky through the first couple of turns. Then it got slick in the woods, and that's pretty much what it was all day long, a tiptoe race. And... You had to be very calculated in all your moves as we saw several riders having some issues on, well, one hill in particular that didn't seem to be a big climb, but turned into be a big obstacle as far as this day was concerned. This is a lot of what we saw through the first half of the race. Top five riders somewhat close together, well within striking distance, actually the top eight on many different occasions. And then as the race wore on, it got a little more heated up front, Ricky Russell, put the hammer down and put the challenge on, was able to lead for just a little bit. And then all of a sudden, Josh Strang, as Ricky Russell put it so eloquently, put the hammer down and, and he was really tough to hang on to at that particular point. And Josh Strang, who has not seen the middle of the box for a little while, was certainly uh, gunning for this one today and he rode like he wanted it. Ricky Russell riding a very solid and strong second place position finish here today and another rider that finished on the podium, Jordan Ashburn had his hands full today as he battled from fourth to fifth to sixth to seventh. Had a lot of riders back there with him, guys like Trevor Bollinger, Grant Baylor, uh, Craig DeLong and uh, of course uh, Josh Toth, just to name a few, but he was able to come out on top of them just as this rider right here, Josh Strang, was able to come out on top of the day and take the win at the Wise Co. John Penton GNCC. Well, folks, that is certainly setting the stage for a great second half of racing. A lot of questions looming. Will your point leader, Bing Kelly, be back for round number eight? The only way to find out is to come back with us. To keep up with more GNCC, to go to gnccracing.com. On behalf of all of us here, I'm Rodney Tomlin. Have a great day, everybody.